Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this common gate amplifier and we have been given that the voltage gain of this amplifier is 5 and the input impedance is equal to 200 ohm. Now here, we have been also given that the power which is supplied by this 5 volt voltage source is equal to 5 milliwatt. And here, the current which is drawn by this voltage divider circuit is negligible. That means this entire current is drawn by this MOSFET. So here, to achieve the voltage gain of 5 and the input impedance of 200 ohm, we have been asked to find the required value of this RD and the RS. And here, we have been also given the required MOSFET parameters. So here, to find the voltage gain and the input impedance, first of all, we need the value of the transconductance, right? And to find the value of the transconductance, First of all, let us do the DC analysis. That means for the DC analysis, all these coupling capacitors will act as a open circuit. And using the DC analysis, first of all, let us find the value of the transconductance. So here we have been given that the power which is supplied by this 5 volt voltage source is equal to 5 milliwatt. And this voltage divider circuit is drawing the negligible amount of current. That means we can say that this 5 milliwatt is equal to 5 times ID because here this current will be equal to ID. So from this we can say that this train current ID is equal to 1 milliampere. Now once we know the value of this train current then we can use this expression for the transcurrentance that is GM is equal to 2 times ID divided by BGS minus VT. So first of all, here we need to know the value of this VGS minus VT. Now whenever the MOSFET is operating in the saturation region, then this drain current ID can be given as half times mu n times cox times w by l times VGS minus VT whole square, right? And here we have been already given the value of this device parameters. That means this train current ID that is 1 milliampere is equal to half times 8 milliampere per volt square times VGS minus VT whole square. Or we can say that this 2 by 8 or 1 by 4 is equal to VGS minus VT whole square. That means VGS minus VT is equal to 0.5. Now once we know the value of this VGS minus VT, then we can find the value of the transconductance. That means transconductance GM is equal to 2 times ID divided by VGS minus VT. That is equal to 2 times 1 milliampere divided by 0.5 volt. That is equal to 4 millisiemens. That means the value of the transconductance at the given operating point is equal to 4 millisiemens. And here we have been given that the voltage gain of this common gate amplifier is equal to 5. Now if you have followed the latest video on the common gate amplifier on the main channel, then you must be aware that the voltage gain of this common gate amplifier can be given as GM times RD. That means here this GM times RD is equal to 5. So from this we can say that to get the gain of 5, the required value of this train resistor should be equal to 5 divided by GM. That is equal to 5 divided by 4 millisiemens. That is equal to 1.25 kilo ohm. That means the required value of this train resistor is equal to 1.25 kilo ohm. Similarly, now let us find the value of this source resistor. Now here, to find the value of RS, there are two ways. One is using the DC analysis, we can directly find the value of the RS. And second method is, we have been already given the value of the input impedance. So if you are aware, then the input impedance of this common gate amplifier, that is Z in is equal to 1 over GM in parallel with RS. And here we have been given that the input impedance of this common gate amplifier should be equal to 200 ohm. That means 200 ohm is equal to 1 over 
जी एम टाइम्स आर एस डिवाइड बाय वन ओवर जी एम प्लस आर एस एंड दिस वन ओवर जी एम दैट इज वन डिवाइड बाय फोर मिली सेमेंस इज इक्वल टू टू फिफ्टी ओम दैट मीन्स टू हंड्रेड ओम शुड बी इक्वल टू टू फिफ्टी टाइम्स आर एस डिवाइड बाय टू फिफ्टी प्लस आर एस सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस एक्सप्रेशन देन वी विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एस एस वन किलो ओम so from this input impedance we can get the value of the rs second method is we can find the value of rs using the dc analysis so here we know that the value of vgs minus vt is equal to 0.5 volt that means vgs is equal to 1 volt because the value of vt is equal to 0.5 volt and here this voltage vg is equal to 2 volt because this voltage vg can be given as 2 mega ohm divided by 2 mega ohm plus 3 mega ohm times 5 volt that is equal to 2 volt that means vgs that is vg minus vs is equal to 1 volt and hence this vs is equal to 1 volt because this voltage vg is equal to 2 volt that means the voltage at this end is equal to 1 volt and the drain current id is equal to 1 milli ampere that means this voltage vs that is id times rs is equal to 1 volt and therefore the value of rs is equal to 1 volt divided by 1 milli ampere that is equal to 1 kilo ohm so in this way using the dc analysis also we can find the value of the rs that means here for the given amplifier to get the gain of 5 and the input impedance of 200 ohm the value of the rd should be equal to 1.25 kilo ohm and the value of rs should be equal to 1 kilo ohm that means for the given question this rd is equal to 1.25 kilo ohm and the rs is equal to 1 kilo ohm